15, boy. Her BP is 180 over 60 and dropping. Dr. Casey, I need that tone now. Phone cutter. BP, 190 over 50. Cut the tone, doctor! Which one do you want? We are rebuilding this woman's clitoris, doctor. There was a terrible car accident. The vaginal canal was severed by a gear shift. I'd say the big one. I want this woman coming hard. Cut! Cut! Cut, cut, cut. Damn it, he needs more class, you know? Think Clooney. I think you should give the lines to Sean. Dawn, darling, I'm the director. I say cut. If you have a problem, you wait until after the take, and then we can yeah. discuss it. Yeah, well, you know what? Time is money, Nigel. My money. <sighs> I agreed to pay for all the overages on this show, which are considerable, in exchange for a producer credit. If I want your opinion, the topic will be bad teeth. And you, you know, this story already strains credibility. Can you try some freaking reality? I don't understand how they let this beast on the lot, OK? I mean, they don't let animals in here. Don, Director, Don, why don't you do something? Excuse me, Don, this is a medically accurate story. Uh, Christian and I operated on a woman who suffered a female castration yeah. in her native village. You see that? That is the way you play a leading man. He has the courage of his convictions, yet he is classy. He is always classy. I Gather around, everybody! I, I train. I have some good news. I have some bad news here, Freddie. Glad you showed up, okay? Because your twin over here is trying to mess up all of my magic sauce. Time out. I really do. I want to share my victory. As of today, we have officially become a cultural phenomenon. I just got off the phone with the Grand Marshal of the West Hollywood Gay Pride Parade, asking us if we would like to ride on our own float. Why would you want to ride in that parade, Freddie? Um, better be it's not easy to grasp. When you get embraced by the gays, you officially become a card-carrying member of the Zeitgeist Club. Hmm. No man of mine is riding in a fruit float, Freddy. Hey, don't you call homosexuals fruits. Don't you dare, woman. I am loved by the homosexual community, and I, for one, Freddy, my, I'm gonna, I won't stand for it. You know, sweetie, your publicist got your cover out. You know why? They passed at people and us. Big shit, okay? Listen, I'm straight out of the park, but I'm no bigot. Bigots always say that. Bigots, no, listen. Bigots always say that. No, this is not personal. That. It's not. I know a lot of gay people. My hairdresser. Oh, really? My stylist. Good for you. How about yes. Father Fabrice oh, from St. Simon's? Oh, Father, how is he doing? He gave me my first Holy Communion. It was a fantastic event, just for your information. A, we have to remember, darling, we have our, our fan base. What about the God-fearing part of our fan base, Freddy? Huh? Start thinking like a producer, sweetheart. This parade could really hurt your program. I'm going back to my office where there are no buzz killers. Um, Freddy? What? Freddie? What? Maybe, maybe all your girl needs is an invitation to sit up there next to you on the, on the float. Is that it, Petal? Well. Is that all it is? Because, honey, honey well, no, no, because it's our first year, they just give us a little tiny float. It's a tiny little float, and there's only room at the top for me and AD. OK? Mm. Back to work, everybody. Yeah, what the hell are you looking at, huh? Chop, chop, people. We got a click to build. 